In this question, we have to find out the allowed uh, nuclear decay out of these uh, four decays given in the options. So, uh, we can solve or check these equations one by one. So, let us look at the first equation or first decay. So, we can check all the quantum numbers. Let us say uh, first check the charge. So, it is 0 on the k and plus 1 and minus 1 on the muon particle. So, charge is conserved. Let us also check the spin quantum number. So, spin of the kion is 0, the spin of the muon particle is half and half. So, on the right hand side, the possible combinations of spin gives a 0 and 1 value. So, which is matching with the left hand side. So, spin is also conserved. Look at the lepton number. So, L mu 0 for the kions and uh, minus 1 for the mu plus and plus 1 for the mu negative. It is also conserved. Isospin for the kion is a uh, half, but for the mu particle it is 0. So, isospin is not conserved. The third component isospin for the k 0, it is a uh, minus half and again for the muon it is 0. So, I3 is also not conserved. Let us look at the strangeness also. So, strangeness of the K0 is uh, plus 1 and uh, for the muon it is 0. So, delta S is also not conserved, but uh, delta S within the limit plus minus 1. So, this interaction is allowed and allowed through a weak interaction. So, uh, if you want to uh, give the proper answer, then of course, uh, here itself you can comment that option number A is the correct one. So, there is no need to check the remaining options, but uh, for the sake of uh, completeness, let us also check the remaining equations. So, let us look at the next equation or next decay. So, the charge here is minus 1, minus 1, 0, so charge is conserved. The spin is half, half for the electron and one for the photons. So, on the right hand side, you have a combination of uh, 1 by 2 and 3 by 2. So, spin is also conserved. Let us look at the lepton numbers, L mu. So, on the left hand side, it is a uh, plus 1. On the right hand side, 0, 0. So, lepton number is not conserved. So, we can say that, straightforward, we can say that this decay is not allowed. Now, let us look at the third decay, neutron decaying into proton and pi negative. So, the charge 0, plus 1, minus 1 conserved, spin half, half for the proton, 0 for the pi on, it is also conserved. Baryon number. Neutron has baryon number plus 1, proton has baryon number plus 1, pion has 0. So, baryon number is also conserved. Then, isospin half for the neutron, half for the proton and uh, 1 for the pion. So, on the right hand side, the possible values of i is uh, 1 by 2 and 3 by 2. So, this is also conserved. Third component of the isospin for the neutron it is a minus half, for the proton it is a plus half, and for the pi negative it is minus one. So this is also conserved. The strangeness 0, 0, 0. The strangeness is also conserved. So all these quantum numbers are conserved, but uh, if you look at the mass. Since the mass of the proton is nearly equal to the mass of uh, neutron, so definitely the sum of the mass of proton and pion will be greater than the mass of the neutron. So, this uh, decay is uh, not uh, feasible due to the violation of the mass. Now, 
let's uh, look at the last decay neutron decaying into pi plus and uh, pi negative so if you look at charge neutron has zero charge plus one minus one it is also conserved spin it is a half and this is a zero and zero this is not conserved look at the baryon number you have a plus one zero zero not conserved so this interaction is also not conserved so the only one decay is allowed that is the kion so the option a is the correct one